Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss future of Australia immigration uh, based on the recent announcements made by their uh, home ministry. Before I proceed further, if you have not been subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify, neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right guys, so let's proceed. So guys, uh, Recently, the government of Australia, their uh, Home Affairs Minister have announced uh, some ch changes to restrict immigration or in other terms to reduce immigration. So their Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill have described some changes. First of all, they are going to cut the numbers of immigration uh, immigration numbers uh, to half of over the next two years. OK. There are various reasons for it, like the uh, the main thing they have said is like broken migration system, then the housing crisis, other things they are going through. So, but how these policies will impact? So the very first impact is going to be on international students because now they are going to secure higher ratings on English language test because that's a mandatory requirement. And there will be more scrutiny on student second visa applicant that who is going to prolong their stay. Now, it, this will definitely have an impact because we know that a lot of students, those who are not good or like those who are not excellent in English, uh, they struggle. They struggle to score higher in uh, English language exams. And when they, uh, when the government of Australia is gonna uh, increase the minimum score required, that means a lot of them would not be able to meet the criteria and another thing that will hit australia is especially students will worry about is going to be uncertainty why i'm going to tell you now compare australia australia with canada right both countries very friendly to each other but have at this moment particularly at this moment opposite immigration policies while government of canada is planning to increase immigration in the next few years government of australia is doing exactly opposite right so somebody like an international student when they go to a country uh, they plan to they plan to like have a stable future and something uh, that they can really rely upon and uh, i mean they try to find out better prospects for them down the line so uh, like because of the uncertainty or uh, the um, way government of australia is going to cut immigration now they may not feel comfortable going to australia because they may think that what if there will be more rules tightening down the line what if we'll not get the visa on time like there's so many things will come because when they say more scrutiny <coughs> I, I apologize that's gonna vary case by case so international students are gonna worry because they want something stable so definitely they will look for some other options and canada is gonna be benefited because of this no doubt and for low skilled workers also they have like uh, said that they will uh cut the numbers so that also will be seen so overall for the next year i see less immigration okay less immigration, higher cutoffs, uh, lower numbers in draws, uh, targeting specific occupations, lower uh, student intake. And then as the situation develop, I'll tell you guys, but this is just my opinion. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.